Hey, hi, hello, my friends. It's Christy with Boreum Jump Journals, and I am here to do a um, thrift shop yard sale haul with you. <laughs> um, estate sale. Uh, today's Saturday. My husband and I like to go to the thrift shops on Saturday. It was also citywide. A yard sale in a neighboring town actually the town where I work and uh, so we went there we went to the thrift shop and we went to an estate sale and I wanted to come and share with you what I got um, this video won't go up until Wednesday but you know I want to share so here we go um the first thing whoa at two different places one being one of the places we stopped in the citywide yard sale and the other one being um, the estate sale. I got lace curtains. No, no, they were both at yard sales. One of them was the yard sale in the town that was having citywide. And the other one, we stopped at a yard sale in our town and I got lace curtains at both. Anyway, and I'm going to, you know, obviously deconstruct them for the lace. So I got four panels like this. And I've already washed this because it all had kind of a musty smell. So I got four panels like this. And these, you know, there's tons of lace in those panels. And then I got one panel like this. which I think is super pretty. And then there are two panels like this. And wait a minute, three panels like that. I'm sorry, there are three panels like that, or is there four? There are four panels like that, okay. So there are four panels like this, four panels like this, one panel like this. And then also in one of the uh, bags of lace curtains, I got this satiny fabric that was just kind of thrown in there. So I got all of that. And then the other thing I wanted to go ahead and show you, that's all of the lace. But I also bought a couple of shirts to deconstruct. And I got to tell you the funny story. Um, so first, I said I wanted this shirt. Now, this is like super old, um, totally not the style anymore, right? But look at that roughly fabric. I just love it. And when I cut that off of there, that's going to be like closures for journals. And, you know, I mean, that is just, it's, it's going to be gorgeous. Um, so I told her I wanted this and she was like, okay. And so I said, well, do you have change? And I gave her, you know, a $5 bill because it was a dollar. And I gave her a $5 bill and I said, do you have change? And she said, yeah. And so she goes to get the change. And I said, and then I spotted this one. And I thought, oh, I need some sequins for the scavenger hunt swap that I'm doing. I need some sequins. I said, I'm going to get that shirt and cut those sequins off. So I hollered at her and I said, actually, I said, just bring me back $3. I'm going to take this one too. And so she came out there and saw which one I was referring to. And she said, you know, there are some uh, much nicer shirts over there. And I said, no, I said, that's okay. I said, I'm just going to take these home and cut them up. And she about had a fit. She was like, you're going to what? I said, I'm going to cut them up. She's like, why? I said, she said, what are you going to do with them? And I said, I'm going to use them in junk journals and uh, paper arts, you know, like mixed media. And she was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just love getting the reactions, you know. Oh, it's so much fun. Anyway. All right. So I've got all that. Let me move this out of the way. <coughs> Find a way to oh, put those away. 
in the next little bit because I'm trying to clean up, do schoolwork, and, you know, do everything all at once. Give me a second. I'll grab the rest of the stuff. Well, it'll probably take several trips, but... Um, Okay, at the estate sale, I got this box. Now, it is kind of broken here. I'm going to see if I can find a way to fix that. And it's stained on the top, but I don't care. So I got this sewing box. Oh, this stuff was not included. I just threw that in there. I got this sewing box um, for $10 full of all this stuff. So um, the box is really old as you can tell. Um, I got a rust proof needle book. Um, you know, just all kinds of sewing stuff. There's some buttons in there. Just all this kind of old sewing stuff. Some thread. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Langford, Weatherford, Texas. Hmm. C.H. Langford, Weatherford, Texas. No idea. Okay. And then, um, you know, there's more down in here. We've got some extra buttons, some more needles, some snaps, I think. Some more buttons. Various little doodads, lots of thread, more buttons. Some tags, some more needles, just a lot of little stuff. And so I was pretty stoked about that. I didn't really want to pay $10 for it. Um, I would much rather paid, say, $5, but couldn't really complain about the 10 either. So... not want to close but that's all right I'll figure that out later okay so I'm gonna set this to the side and then I also got not at oh wait at that same estate sale I got um some um zip ties because when I'm making wreaths I use zip ties and my husband oh gosh they're so dusty my husband saw these and said I'm going to get those for my wife. And so, so there we are. Mm -hmm. We got them. Whew, they're so dusty. Then, um, in a different place, I got this was at the Citywide. I got this tin. And this tin is also, whoop, those don't belong in there. This tin is also full of sewing stuff. Um, so there's seam binding. Oh, gosh, it's so dusty smelling. There's some um, uh, bobbins in here that hopefully will fit my machine. There's um, just all kinds of stuff. I don't know what this does. You may know what this does. Oh, it's a seam ripper. Never mind. Um... I don't know what the heck that is. But yeah, just all kinds of stuff in here. That's pretty. I like that handle. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I paid $2 for this. I believe it was $2. Okay. And then, at that same yard sale, I got a couple of these small photo albums that I can use to keep ephemera in. Because I've been gathering as many of these as I can find for ephemera storage, right? 
Um, so I found these. I got the two of them for a dollar. Um, and then all these maps. I don't know exactly. I think I paid like three dollars for the whole thing of maps. No, no, I paid a dollar for the whole thing of maps. So there's a Wyoming map. Um, there's just all kinds of maps there. So I got those. And then let me see what else I've got. Okay, and then also at the yard sales, I got this book, which I'm also going to use to keep ephemera in, and it was, hold on just one second, it was, um, I don't remember, I think I paid two dollars for it, but it's got all these pages, and then it's got some extra paper in here, or um, extra page protectors in here, I mean. And so, it's kind of musty. I'm going to take a bleach wipe to it, probably, and try and wipe that down. Because um, I don't mind if it, you know, kind of discolors it a little bit. It's not a big deal. It's just ephemera storage. Um, but anyway, so I got that for a couple of bucks. And then I got this ledger book. Um, which I thought would be fun to do something with. Um, I don't know what I paid for it. 50 cents, maybe? Some of this stuff, like I just took it all up there and they gave me a price for everything and I was just like, yes or no. So, but I think this was like 50 cents. And then at that same place, I got these books. So I got this one, which is Sounds After Dark, um, which I thought would be fun for like a... A spooky like Halloween style um, journal so and then I got some um, little golden books I have a ton of little golden books to alter but they're so hard to find these days and they can be so expensive when you do find them um, if you don't just get lucky with someone who doesn't realize or doesn't care to spend the time to sell them online. Um, if you don't just get lucky like that, you, you can spend a lot of money trying to get little golden books. So I found these. I got them for virtually nothing. So I went ahead and picked them up, even though I have a bunch. I got A Day on the Farm, Frosty the Snowman, which it's always nice to have these at Christmas time. Um, the Sorcerer's Apprentice, which is one of my all-time favorites. And I love that it's written on the front with their name in the children's handwriting. I mean, that is awesome. That just adds so much to it. Mickey Mouse, the Kitten Sitters. And Dumbo, which I did a little golden book journal one time for a swap that I got flaked on and it, it, that was a sore spot, but I did Dumbo and it was an enormous journal and it was beautiful and I loved it. And yeah, so now I have another Dumbo book. I can make another one. Okay. So I got those. Hang on just a second. At the thrift shop, I picked up this picture. It was three dollars. Um, I picked it up just because I just love the way it looks. 
for like um, sit, hanging on the wall above my book carts. So that's what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to hang it on the wall above my book carts. But it's super heavy, super heavy. So I got that. That's not junk journal related, but, you know, I got it. So um, also at the thrift shop, I got this pack of like mathematics, multiplication stuff that you might use at school. Um, and it's, I think that's Spanish. And, um, I was just excited cause like always needing something in another language and, or something with numbers or whatever for collages. Um, Marguerite Miller's really good about putting those in her collages. Sometimes it pops up on my personal daily collage. And these are like little individual multiplication charts. And they have Spanish or whatever. I think I'm almost positive that's Spanish on there. So that's super cool. So I got that whole thing for $2. I put those in backwards, but that's okay. Um, and then I got this Monopoly game for $4. Now, I have not opened it. So we're going to open it here together, um, and we will see what kind of condition it's in, um, whether I'm going to use it for journaling or put it out there with my board game collection. I am a Monopoly fanatic, and I have several different versions of Monopoly, not near as many as I'd like to have, but I don't have one of the original versions. So if this is in good shape, I will probably keep it. If not, we will use it in the journals. And that board is in really good shape. The money is all there, or at least enough of it. We have the cards. Oh, that rubber band wasn't in good shape. We've got the properties, which I'm going to assume are all there, even though we don't really know. Um, Houses and hotels, game pieces, dice. It looks to be complete, guys. So this is going into my board game collection. So. And it's not one of the old editions, really. It doesn't look like it's one of the super old editions. But it is the original edition. Um, you know, where things were still, like... Um, before they went into like millions of dollars and stuff, you could, you still have $20 on Baltic Avenue and, um, $450 on Baltic Avenue and you don't have the K after everything. And so it's one of the originals. And, uh, so that just tickles me. I love having that. Okay. And then I got... This was also at the thrift shop. I got this book. I paid $2 for this. And it's a binder style. Now, these are like color pages and like it was a planner. Um, probably I'm going to take all of this out, although it was um, an undated planner. So I could keep it and use it. Um, but I could also, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with it yet. But I've got that. And then I got some CD sleeves. I paid 75 cents for these. I had seen a project um, on YouTube someone had done with a CD sleeve and I've done some projects with them before and um, so I just thought I'd been looking at them there for several weeks. They dropped in price. but I've been looking at them there for several weeks and deciding yeah do I really want to put those in my craft room you know blah 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 and I kept passing them up and passing them up. And today I just got them. So there's a bunch of them. I paid 75 cents. Um, so if I did wind up not using them, it wouldn't break my heart. It wasn't like I spent a ton of money on them. But I think I'll use them. I think I will. And in fact, I may do a 10 for Tuesday um, using these CD sleeves. So that could be fun. So let me put that over there. And then I got, I paid $2 for this. Um, it looks like it was a free gift with something um, from HP. But these are like photo sheets. 
And then there are envelopes. So you can print pictures and then um, put them in the envelopes. I'm going to coffee stain this paper because I love coffee stained photo paper. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to coffee stain it and use it, um, and use the envelopes for something obviously, but, um, I'm, in other words, I'm probably not going to print on it, but I could, I might change my mind. Um, it's been known to happen. So anyway, there's that. Uh, like I said, I paid $2 for that. And then I got these Animal Sounds Jumbo Cards out of the children's section. I paid 50 cents for them. And so they look like this. And I figured those would be fun to alter and or use, you know, in a journal so yeah got those um got this deck of cards for 50 cents never been opened um it's got the hole through the middle and i might use this for a full deck challenge at some point i got these napkins for 50 cents i just thought they were cute i'm not someone who's used napkins very much but i might do something with these just because they're pink and blue, and I love pink, and they're polka dotted, and they got a kitty on them, and they're cute. So there you go. Alright, and then I got this bag of cards. Periodically, the thrift shop that I like to go to will bag up a bunch of cards and put them out there at a good price. These I paid $3 for. And uh, there's a lot in there. Like a lot, a lot. So it's got these like watercolor ones. Um, some butterflies. Happy Easter. Celebrate. Thank you. Thinking of you. There's just a lot of stuff on here. There's some envelopes. That's a pretty pink envelope with like a lacy look. Um, there's a pretty yellow envelope. Some planar envelopes. That's got a really pretty cross on it. Um, love that hummingbird. Um, and the hummingbird envelope. So yeah, there's just, there's so much here. I don't know why I keep... I kept showing these to you guys upside down. I'm sorry about that. That's really pretty. So yeah, there's just, there's a lot here. Um, thinking of you, happy birthday, get well soon. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Birthday wishes. That's a cool card. Um... With sympathy, there's a Christmas card, some cool envelopes, another Christmas card, thinking of you. There's a business reply mail card or uh, envelope. I heard you were feeling under the weather, thinking of you. Ooh, I love this purple. One is never nearer to God's heart than in a garden. That's really pretty, and that would make a really nice, like, journal piece. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hope you're feeling better. Those birds are gorgeous. Look at those butterflies. That is so pretty. Um, that's really nice. Thinking of you. Oh. They're so cute. And again, you know, for $3, happy birthday to someone special, season's greetings, um, with loving thoughts for a granddaughter, season's greetings, aww, get well soon, happy birthday to you. There's his little envelope. 
thinking of you. Happy birthday. A birthday wish for you. Wishing you a wonderful birthday full of surprises. Thinking of you. Happy birthday. Oh, to puppy, to puppy. Get well wishes. <laughs> yes, I'm crazy, guys. Thank you. Happy birthday. Um, looks like some more envelopes. This is just a little blank card. Thank you. Believe. Some more envelopes. Oh, I love that card. Isn't that pretty? And that one's blank inside, too. Um, birthday wishes. Your friendship is a blessing. It's got a puppy on it. A dress out of this. Um, Merry Christmas. On your special day. One birthday wishes. There's a couple of postcards which I am currently, the scavenger hunt I'm doing right now is asking for postcards. So, um, sending you bright birthday wishes on your birthday. Um, you're the bravest of the brave, dear brave veteran. I cannot thank you enough for your courage, the courage to fight for the freedom every American holds so dear. Please know I am thinking of you this Memorial Day. So another business reply envelope that's got stamps on it which is cool proud to be american that's really pretty love that little bird um yeah there's an envelope there's a get well doom there's a piece another envelope there's a bird with beautiful birthday wishes um Let's party. The years sure do fly by. That's pretty. Um, happy birthday. Oh, that's cute. Hot dog. Have a positively perfect birthday. There's a happy birthday. There's a note to say thank you. There's a happy birthday. There's a you're in my thoughts today. This is really pretty. It's blank inside except for the hearts. So, yeah, I got all of that for $3. And I think that that was an absolute steal. So, I bet I can't get them back in this bag. What do you bet? Well, maybe I can. All right, cool. Not that it matters. It's not going to, like, seal again or anything, but... At least they're there. Okay, let's see where we're at. Okay, so then I got this bag of stuff. This was also from the thrift shop. I got this package of printable CD labels for $2. Um, and it's pretty full. I mean, like, it's, it's heavy. I got these Thinking of You cards. I don't know how many are in here. They're supposed to be blank with four different designs on the outside. I paid 50 cents. Yeah, 50 cents for these. And it feels like the box is full. Okay, these are not all blank, though. The, somebody put other cards in here, which is fine, too. Um, so, yeah. And there's envelopes in here. Lots of envelopes in here. More envelopes than anything else. So there's just a small handful of cards, um, which is fine. That puppy is adorable. Yeah. With deepest sympathy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So there's those. I paid 50 cents for that. And like I said, there's a lot of envelopes in there. And then I bought this book for $3. Um, and it's got... The multi-pocket for storage. So, and there's room for that to expand if I have other pages that will fit. Um, so, yeah, that's that's going to be really cool to use to hold ephemera. And it's got a very vintage cover. So, I'm excited about that. I also got this one for a dollar. 
and this one's just got the little, you know, the little picture holders. So then I paid a dollar for that. And then I got this one for two dollars. And it's pink. So, you know, there's a win already. And again, it just holds the little pictures in there. Well, in my case, it'll be ephemera. But yeah. So there's that. One more round of stuff. Give me one second. So this was the first thing I bought today, and I bought it at the at the uh, citywide yard sale. So I got this bag full of stuff and this, and it cost me twenty seven dollars for all of it because it was a dollar a piece, and I bought twenty seven things. Um, so this is just a little, t a little thing full of, um, like flowers that I can use. Um, there's also some, I think some like brick, it, is it called bric-a-brac? Is that what it's called? Anyway, that stuff. Okay. And then she gave me, oh, I'm sorry. She gave me this little bag and apologized for not having like a big plastic bag. And I was just thinking to myself, um, you could split it up between two or three of those bags. <laughs> but I didn't say it. I didn't say it, guys. I was good. I didn't say it. Okay. So here's what I got. I got these uh, die cut stickers. And these are like a pink and green. They're like a baby girl colors. Like traditional baby girl color. I know that people don't really stick with those colors anymore. Traditionally you know, these would have been like baby girl colors, right? And these would have been like baby boy colors. And I got one of each. And I just, uh, I think those are awesome. Okay. And so I've got the alphabet and yeah. Then I also got these um, cork stickers. And this is supposed to have um, two each of the circle cork alphabets and the square cork alphabets and then one each of the numbers and shapes so let's take a look okay so there's the round ones there's the square ones there's the numbers and there's the shapes so yeah it's all there so got that and then I got this, which has, um, these are like transparency letters. They're self-adhesive die-cut transparent letters. And you probably can't see it on the camera, but um, the, the letters are there. So like if I pull them off of there, they should come off um, with that pattern. So, and then I got uh, these die-cut stickers. And these, which are very similar, but different. Very similar, but different. <laughs> and then I got <clears throat> these uh, coasters. They're printed on acid-free coaster board. And these are like stickers. I think they're stickers. They might not be. They might be like chipboard. Well, I mean, they're coaster board, right? Anyway, and I got them in blue as well blue and green um and then i got these which are like just uh round letter stickers or scallop shaped letter stickers i got these stickers which there they're called grand adhesions and you guys know how i am about puffy stickers but i like these so i got them anyway um, and these as well have some dimension. I think there's a difference between puffy stickers and dimensional stickers. These are dimensional. Um, and these are just gorgeous. I'm, I know I'm going to use these. In fact, I've got these in mind for my Vagabond journal and or my Blue Jean Pup journal. Um, so, and then I got these, which are super cute. And these are like, um, they're, they're transparent and it's like they've got, uh, 
<sighs> well, I'll think of it in a minute. Um, and then I got these. These are big, thick scrapbooking accents. So when we talk dimensional, these are really dimensional. Let's see? Big, thick things. So, and there's like, what? One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine of them in the package. And then I got these letter stickers that are made out of the same stuff that this is that I can't think of at the moment. Or I don't know if it's made out of it, but it's what it seems like is the... Um, Anyway, I got chip stickers. These are chipboard stickers, um, and there should be four pages of them that look like this. And those are just so stinking cute for a dollar. A dollar. And then I got these, which I'm not real sure. They'll go into a journal somewhere. They're journaling cards with transparencies, it says. Um, these are just more letters. Um, so just a big thing of letters. This is more of those uh, clear cuts, you know, so it's the letters will come out with the pattern. And then these are like decorative edge cardstock border things in several different shapes so you got the round one you got this shape you got this shape and then the square and so i got those and then this has cardstock die cuts this has cardstock die cuts so these are very similar just different colors and then pink letters i was excited about that and then there's these which these are heavy chipboard. Um, they're just chipboard embellishments, it says. And then I got these borders. These are embossed stickers. And these um, we are just like the ones we saw a while ago, but different. They're just alike, except totally different. <laughs> So guys, that was my haul today. That's everything I got at the thrift store, estate sale, and citywide yard sale. And I'm super excited about everything. And now that I've filmed this haul, I can put it all away somewhere. Anybody want to come and organize my art studio for me? <laughs> just saying. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it entertaining. Um, I hope that you'll join me again for another video very soon. If you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you click the little bell, it will notify you every time I upload a new video, which is usually very often. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite part was. And I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye.